Fuel economies for Chevy vehicles are normally distributed. The 2010 Chevy Malibu has an average EPA estimated fuel economy of 30 miles per gallon and a standard deviation of 0.67 miles per gallon. If one Malibu is randomly selected, find the probability that its fuel economy is between 29.5 and 30.5 miles per gallon. Okay, so in this problem we're basically looking for uh, a problem that deals with the bell curve because it says fuel economies for Chevy vehicles are normally distributed, so we're thinking bell curve. And then they're asking us for a probability, find the probability that its fuel economy is between these two values. So to use the graphing calculator for that, essentially what I'm going to do is draw a bell curve. The drawing helps us enter the calculator items correctly, so it's probably a good habit to get, in, get into, which is drawing the bell curve before you start the problem. And then on that bell curve, you should label an x-axis, which is going to, in this case, represent fuel economy. And what it tells us in the problem is that the average fuel economy is 30 miles per gallon, so you should label that somewhere on your drawing. And also it says the standard deviation for that is 0.67. All right, and then from there they ask us the probability that its fuel economy is between 29.5 and 30.5. Well, remember the mean is in the middle here at 30. So 29 and a half is a little before that, right? And 30 and a half is just a little bit after. All right, so we're looking for the probability that the fuel economy is between these two values. So since we're looking for the probability it's between those two values, my shaded area is the area between the two numbers, right? Okay, so that's what we have to do. We have to find the probability that it's between these two numbers. Well, remember, this will be our left number for the shaded area. This will be the right number for the shaded area. And then we just have to do the rest in our calculator. So we'll do second bars. So press the second key, press the bars key, take option number two, which says normal CDF. And then enter in the left number, which is 29.5, comma the right number, which is 30.5, comma the mean, which is 30. So we enter the mean here, right? comma, the standard deviation, which is 0.67. Do all that, press enter, and you'll have your answer. All right, so let's do that together with our calculators. So we're going to press second bars. We're going to take option number two, which is for normal CDF. Then I'm going to enter the left number, 29.5, comma, the right number, 30.5, comma, the mean, which is 30, comma, the standard deviation, which is 0.67. Close up the parenthesis, hit enter, and you get the answer 0 0.5445. 0 0.54, 0 0.5445. Or in other words, 54.45%. So 54.45%.